Hi, I'm Tim Ronick, and I love to tinker with stuff, and we've decided to start a YouTube channel and track some of these things that we choose to build. We missed out on the last project, which was a uh, 2011 V-Rod Muscle. Um, I managed to find and install a Sprintex supercharger on this. So it's an originally a 1250cc motor, but with the Sprintex supercharger, uh, this motorcycle will make right around 158 horse, just under 8,500 RPM. If you take it up to the red line of 9,200, it's quite likely it will uh, generate just a little bit over 160 horse. Um, it's been a lot of fun, but since that project is all done, I've decided to move on. And my next project is a uh, 2007 Saturn Sky. I managed to get this car uh, about six months ago with 6,000 miles on it. And it is originally equipped with a uh, uh, turbocharger. It's a Saturn Sky Redline. And these cars from when they were new produced about 260 horsepower, which at the time in 2007 was pretty amazing for a two liter motor to produce that amount of horsepower. Uh, at the time, Chevrolet indicated that per liter, the uh, Pontiac GXP and the Saturn Sky Redline both had the highest horsepower per liter of any production car that General Motors had built up until that point. So, 260 horse is fun, but I'm thinking 410 or 420 horse might be a lot more fun, so I've decided to upgrade the car. Um, over the next few videos, we're going to track the installation of some of the components. I managed to uh, secure some uh, components from a fellow named Martin Scott over at RPM Motorsports. Uh, he specializes in the little four-cylinder uh, LNF motors, both in the, co in, in the Cobalt and the new uh, Polaris uh, Slingshot, and of course uh, the Saturn Sky and the Pontiac GXP, or Pontiac Solstice GXP. So what I've managed to get from Martin are the items that are in front of us here. I managed to get a, uh, uh, a full flowing uh, down cat pipe, which will be my free flowing exhaust that I'm gonna install. I managed to get that from Martin. I got a, uh, a big wheel turbo, and the big wheel turbo is a factory turbo that has been machined out on the inside. And as you can see, there's a, a higher uh, a little larger impeller that's been installed in there and it's a little bit redesigned so it'll spool up faster and it'll carry about 30% more air volume. So instead of the, uh, the turbo running out of boost up above uh, 5,500 RPM, this should be able to maintain full boost pressure all the way through the red line rather than it petering out because it doesn't have enough volume. So originally these cars come with about 16 pounds of boost I'm hoping to take that 16 pounds of boost and move it up to about 24 or 26 pounds and then be able to maintain that 26 pounds through the entire RPM range of the engine without it running out of, uh, running out of breath, if you will. Now, the, the two things that are essential for, for the uh, turbo to be able to do that are larger charge tubes. And these two charge tubes, I, I had a, an issue that I, I wanted to have mounting brackets on them. It's just a, a small thing. Uh, these were secured from DDM Works. There is absolutely nothing wrong with um, uh, Martin Scott's versions at RPM Motorsports, and he would have actually installed the brackets for me and sold me a set with brackets on it. I just didn't want to wait, and there was a, an online special, so I managed to purchase these from DDM, and I got a very good price on them. Uh, those are the only parts I managed to get from DDM. I also, from Martin Scott over at RPM Motorsports, managed to get... Uh, an upgraded intercooler. And the uh, the intercooler is a far more robust version than the original. And the original, if you look through here, you can kind of see a little bit of it. And I'll have them out and I'll show them when I, as I take it apart. But that has a much narrower tubes, doesn't move nearly the amount of uh, airflow that the upgraded one is. Will, so it'll, it'll produce a lot more uh, temperature differential and keep the air charge a lot cooler because on turbocharged motors, heat is, uh, is the devil and you wanna be able to cool down that intake charge as much as possible. So, over the next little while, we'll be creating some videos and uh, tracking this project as we move through it and I look forward to you guys tagging along with us. So, hopefully it'll be educational.